You followed me into the abyss? Have you so little respect for the scant years your fragile form affords you? I know not why the short-sightedness of Kith continues to surprise me. Leave while the option remains, lest you be bound here as I am. The words of your dead oxen god concern me not. Circumstance does not afford me time to address ridiculous queries. A simple understanding of a complex situation. Eventually. First, however, I must attend to my unfettering. Descend into the void or do not. I care neither way. But know that within its depths do all things encounter their endings. No. I bear responsibility for neither your enlightenment nor your sophistication. Nor I in justifying myself. I imagine so. Hey, was that an insult? I delivered unto the believers the oblivion that they desired. You object that I answer their prayers? It matters not. I require souls. I had very nearly accumulated an adequate amount for my purpose, but your intercession necessitated I expend much. In the final accounting, the culling that follows shall be upon your ledger. I smell the blood of Skirilophus upon you. Do you make a habit of inflicting yourself upon your betters? Do you believe your work righteous? Doubtlessly without bias. Well, sometimes. I mean, there's always some unexpected killing, right? What about all those bears who weren't asking for any trouble? You have stayed your hand in situations where many would not have. None here require your assistance, nor will any benefit from it. You will find little below, less that you can take with you. Now there, Captain Watcher. You wouldn't want to go giving a big beastie the right idea about you. <laughs> Your self-appointed divinities merit no such authority. Hell, they got more right to it than some half-rotted lizard. You came courting oblivion. Remarkable. Shrouded yourself in the souls of the dead, have you? I sense them clinging to you like snails to a stone. You've sucked from the ruined realms that echo in this empty place, glutted yourself upon their entropy, as I did once, and without any effort made to protect yourself from this place. From me. Almost unbelievable. Almost. It matters not. Nothing matters. I shall claim your essence and use it to escape this place. You witnessed the pull of this place. I cannot escape its gravity. Not without more essence. I've taken what I dare from the Echoes. Despite their resilience, they remain victims of this place. Why wouldn't I? Would you not? Were you trapped here? Would you not strive to escape this monotonous void? <laughs> it seems the little kith is not quite the fool that it appears. It matters not what you do. My actions merit greater significance. In the eldest manner, via consumption. The relic shall contain your spirit shielding it against the white void. You shall survive, after a fashion. It's always the glowing ones that cause a trouble, ain't it? What? What is that thing? I sense dozens, perhaps hundreds of minds contained within that. Got myself a bad feeling about that bomb, Cap. Feels all filled up with souls and hungering for more. The Anchor. It persists here, when all other things decay to dust. I came here for it, an object of such potency that it defies the deified. 
My own protection. They destroy that which threatens their dominion as they did those who came before me. As they would have you, had you not cast yourself into this void. Obviously. My mother was older than your manufactured gods are now when she hatched me. Think you our kind oblivious to the workings of Kith? My elders, when I was yet young, three dragons of inimitable prowess ruled these seas. The oldest Juana legends speak of three guardians, but... Akara, it is nothing. So impressive were they that the gods enlisted them in defending their great working. The elders accepted, and then they vanished. The gods had betrayed them, entrapped them, murdered them. Years, decades, it matters not. Yours is the mewling of a cub. Let's not prolong this further. Centuries. I expected a century, but not multiple. You sound small and edible. What's done is done. Do battle with the beast of winter? To what conceivable end? Better you realize it now than later, I suppose. You would have me eat Remergand? To pluck him from the void as I might a heifer from a field? Diverus. That a thing is possible does not render it trivially easy. And yet... Now, I didn't follow all that, but if Remergond ain't broken you down yet, maybe he can't. Yes, I've heard your words, little kith. It's not impossible. The fact that Remergond has not yet managed to defeat the dragon, nor destroy its phylactery, suggests it may be able to contain the god's power. Do not think that I don't recognize what you intend with your words, little one. Even you must understand that inaction is sometimes the wisest action. That a thing is possible does not render it trivially easy. Still, if I am to move against him, it needs be now at the height of my prowess. I've no more time to waste on you. A god requires slaying. Let's be off before it changes its mind. Well done, Captain. And here were me thinking you were just another pretty face. Most impressive. I thought a violent confrontation a near certainty. Happily, I am proved wrong. You never seek the more straightforward solutions to your dragon problems, do you? Akara, I respect this. I saw that, Ishii. Drop it. Now. Good. I was not looking forward to fighting this creature. Now let us go. I admit I'm impressed. So, uh, are we finished in this place? Can we leave? Do you mock me, little kith? Well then, I hope your amusement was worth it, Watcher. You know, you might have gotten me into position first. Merla. Oh, for fuck's sake, Cap. Are you mad? It does not follow that he fears me. Still, it is curious. Everything ends. Remergond included. Even you must understand that inaction is sometimes the wisest action. Not everyone lives at the same pace. You never think of those quiet years at Cadnua and wish you could have it all back? You will not goad me into throwing away my existence. You ask why I do not allow myself to die? Are you so eager to meet your own end, knowing that nothing awaits beyond? I will happily introduce you, if you so desire. We don't desire. Not even a little. No. So long as will persists, so too does life. Oh God, oh God, oh God. Tell me then, little kith, what you would have me do. 
What would your wisdom demand of me? Then you have no purpose. The souls you wear put the lie to your words. You said it has been centuries. I tell you, it has felt like so much longer. Rest then. You've earned it. I like him more than I like you, little kith. I died the moment I passed into the beyond. Everything since has been futile. I am so very, very tired. A tragic, if accurate, assessment. I cannot help but wonder if there was something more we could have done. Somehow this ending don't feel all that happy. I... Yes. Well done. Let us continue. What we have here is a creature that ought to learn to forgive itself. Get that sorted out and you can move on with a clear conscience. I think I had this nightmare once. Are we dead as well, then? By your logic. Let's go. So I had noticed. For frost's sake, could you not at least attempt to sound convincing? I disagree. Aren't we well studied, little kith? What of it? Plotting some bit of cleverness? Careful, Watcher. She's starting to think you dangerous. <laughs> you think you would succeed where the god of decay and endings has failed? No. It shall persist forever. And I with it. Still, no advantage in leaving such things to chance. Then let us hope it's sated. <laughs> to what end, little kiff? Why would I do such a thing? For that matter, why would you? Is that why those others cling to you? Your benevolence? It is like I am not even here. <laughs> and you would add me to your menagerie. Very well. You may take the relic. I shall watch. And I shall listen. Give me no reason to reclaim it. <laughs> you amuse me, little kith. You have no idea how long it has been since I last laughed. I smell it on you, the cloying scent of compassion. You would fix me, then? This situation satisfies no one, does it? I have known a few Watchers in my centuries. Each unique, the only commonality, their mad insight. I remain unconvinced. You? You who so clearly wear your devotion to your deity upon your spirit? Ah. Oh. That explains the mark upon your soul. I had thought it willingly accepted. Interesting. What tactic would you have our alliance of two employ against gods? Well, hell, Watcher. It ain't his fault you build a house on top his head. You can't hardly expect the sun not to rise, can you? Is that all it takes to get on your bad side? Nor should you be expected to. Nor should you forgive such betrayal. I am amused. And intrigued. I do not remember when I was last either of those things. You have convinced me. Take the relic. Let the pair of us shake hell itself. You do, don't you? What plans have you for us, our alliance of two? Hey now, I'm on board for stopping Aethys, but if you're really planning to kill him, we're gonna need to talk things over. Did I hear you, Rat Watcher? 
Gone's the reaper, not the reaped. In taking corporeal form, he has made himself vulnerable. How uninspired and disappointingly naive. The kith will believe what they choose, not what is true. Pardon? Surely I must have misheard you. Is this truly our purpose, Captain? I am feeling oddly misled. An interesting proposal, and very ambitious. How very ambitious of you. I could teach you much, were I so inclined. I am afraid, however, that we will not be afforded the opportunity. And what would you do with forever? You're rather more intriguing than I expected, little magician. Well, I, I suppose there would be much to learn. Don't mind me, Captain. I'm just curious to see where you go with this. Captain, you might have spoken to me first. I am not beyond considering the possibilities. Well, hail, Watcher. Let's all just pretend like I ain't here. Disappointing, but not unexpected. You clearly possess some cleverness, little kith. But are you clever enough? One would think you rather more eager for death than eternal life. No, little kith. You will indeed aid me, but not in the way you suggest. An unexpectedly wise answer, little kith. And perhaps you will eventually prove your worth. No, I think not. As pleasant as this diversion has been, the time comes to conclude our conversation. Farewell, little kith, and welcome to oblivion.